All right, so you're gonna have multiple participants that will be getting into your call. Someone will have video, someone will not have video. In this particular section though, we wanted to just talk about the idea of multiple participants and how you can manage the space and even utilize what is called a breakout room. So we got right here are a few cameras from around my house. I got my 3D printing lab with Terminator Rex, and there's my cat Mishka hanging out on the bed. So here I am in an office room. We're all kind of just in the call together. There's a few things you can do. Notice in the upper right hand corner, there's a speaker view. So if you turn on speaker view, it's whoever is uh, the kind of the last one to have talked to show in that particular view. Now with me, it's not gonna show me because this was the last person that would happen to talk in this particular instance. Now let's say that this person is stuck on the screen and you'd rather look at somebody else's screen. You can right click on the particular screen you'd want to look at and there's a lot of uh, options. Number one is you can pin a video so in this case I could pin the video of my cat you can see that cat there and that video will stay in place and now anybody any participant can actually do a pin video now you can also do what's called a spotlight video so if you right click and you spotlight a video that's saying hey here's somebody that's talking or doing some activity that I really want to be the main one that's on the stage as you're going through your session so you can go around and you could even pin your own video up if you'd like um, to see your, what yourself looks like as you're kind of demonstrating something. Um, so that is one way to manage the participant uh, video window as you go through here. Now the other way is your gallery view. So that is going to grid out up to about 49 participants. Once you jump into doing your, your sessions and you're recording your sessions, I would keep it on speaker view. Speaker view is what keeps that particular uh, person on the stage. But for this demo, we really wanted to jump in the concept of breakout rooms. So what breakout rooms do is it splits the entire uh, Zoom call into little breakout groups. And so in this case, if I clicked on breakout groups, it's going to say how many participants are in there and then how many rooms that you can split them into. So I only have two participants and I can split them at this point into two separate rooms. Now you have the ability to do it automatically or manually. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and create two rooms and I want to do this manually. So I'll hit create two rooms and there's our two breakout rooms that we have. Now what breakout rooms are, it's going to take this call and it's going to separate it out into multiple rooms. And then you can kind of traverse those rooms and check in on the, on the group and kind of figure things out. Now there's a good pedagogical approach to this and that's that you want to first manage expectations as to what would happen in these rooms. So of course you're saying, hey, I need somebody to be the recorder and I need somebody to be the reporter. One of the other little tips is leveraging your chat to throw in the directions before you send anyone out to the breakout rooms. So that's the typical way you would see this happen. Um, you can have multiple rooms. You can even rename the rooms just by uh, highlighting and renaming it, putting a topic there. I'm gonna go ahead and just use what we have here. So there are a couple areas down here that you can look at. So we have this recreate rooms if you needed to add a couple more. You have your options button, which is gonna be really important. Uh, you would move participants into breakout rooms automatically, which is really one of those things that you should do if you really wanna manage this well. Otherwise, if you don't have that selected, they would have to self-select and then jump into those uh, individual breakout rooms. Another thing is allowing participants to return to the main session. I have that deselected because I don't want them to return until I'm ready to pull them back. I'm sure there might be some scenarios which you'd want that on, so you have that as availability. The breakout rooms will automatically close after and then you put in the amount of minutes. We have found that with how this works, you want to probably keep it to a minimum of 15 minutes when you do breakout rooms. So we've got the settings ready to go. Uh, 60 seconds, that is definitely time we suggest. I would go no lower than 60 seconds. What's gonna happen is that one minute left, it's gonna say, hey, the breakout room is ready to close. You have 60 seconds and you're gonna see a timer countdown and then that's gonna bring people back into this main session. Now you are, if you are recording a session, it is important to note that the recording, think about it, is attached to you as the instructor and it's gonna migrate from where you're at. Um, so if you go into a, a, a 
breakout room one, it's only going to be recording breakout room one. You will not have video footage of two. So wherever you are at is in the instructor where it's recording. So if you send everyone to their breakout rooms and you're just kind of hanging out sitting there, if you're not navigating between those two rooms or a couple rooms that you might have, go ahead and just talk to the camera. That recording will be there. Gives them extra insights. And then you can always have people uh, watch that at a later time. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and open all the rooms and get everyone kind of set up. Uh, what we'll want to do is we want to add people to the room. So I'm going to use the assign button and you're going to notice that Mishka, my cat, and Terminator Rex are the options. So in breakout room one, I'm going to put Mishka. Breakout room two, I'm going to put Terminator Rex. And I'm ready to open the room. So let's send them off to their rooms. So when you hit uh, send them out to the rooms what's gonna happen is a couple things now first of all everyone's kind of getting sent off this is you just making sure that they're getting sent to the correct rooms so Mishka's taking a second there so there's some time that's uh, elapsing as that's kind of kicking over into that breakout environment now if you needed to like move someone from a room to a room for instance like Terminator Rex you wanted to move them to this other room you can click on move and you just pick out the other room you want to move them to and then you're dropping that person into another room so you can see that they've migrated in. We can tell that there's something going on with Mishka here. So I'm going to have to check that out. And that might be because of the kind of platform that we have uh, for this breakout room. I'm going to move Terminator Raider Rex back. Now, if you come into the situation where you see somebody has not been moved to a room, there's typically some other people in there. I suspect because this is being uh, Mishka's joining through a Chromebook that that could be part of the, the issue here. But before we get too far into it, we have two minutes on the counter. So uh, they are one minute in nearly um, into this this thing actually more than one minute so let's quickly go between the rooms so how you navigate uh, between the rooms is you click the join button so if I want to go in breakout room one I click that and I'll join the breakout room there's a little icon that says you're joining breakout room one and then you're in that room so you're able to talk with anybody in the room hey what's going on when you like to leave the room you click leave room in the bottom here and you got to make sure you hit leave breakout room it's going to kick you back into the zoom session it does give you this little warning that you're going back and now you're in the main session and if you want to see your panel you hit that breakout rooms panel and you're be able to see what's going on there oh it looks like mishka was in the session now so now if i go into the the second room i'll go ahead and hit join there and I'll join that second room. Now I'm in with Terminator Rex, can check in on the conversation. And what you're seeing now is me as the instructor is seeing this, the host is seeing this, is that they have about 60 seconds left before these get pulled back into the main room. So I could still maintain my conversation in this breakout room saying, oh, this is some really good great conversation guys i think you need to really talk about that piece as the instructor or the facilitator you want to be jumping through the rooms just doing some spot check making sure there's no questions that are happening as people are navigating amongst the rooms now once you get dropped into the room the chat can be used by the room so the room will only be seeing the chat that they have in their particular room um and the very end you won't have access to all the various room chats. It's only that room that really has that access to it. But in this particular case, I'm gonna leave the room and I'm gonna go back to the main room and I'll just show you what this kind of looks like. You're going to the main session at this point. I'm back in that main room. And in just a second here, we're gonna see all the participants come back into the room. We're gonna pull everyone back into this space. So there we go, Terminator Rex is back. They've been pulled together. Now it's like, hey, welcome everyone back to the room. And, in, and if you went back to that breakout room session, it's gonna show that everyone is assigned, but everyone's back into the rooms. You could send them back if you needed to later in that session. Mm -hmm. 